Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible that I'm sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Revelation chapter 3. Do you ever get discouraged by your circumstances? I think we all do. No matter what you're going through, you can rest in the Lord and walk in His promises. Because the Bible says you are an overcomer. Listen to Jesus' promises in his messages to the seven churches in Revelation. Today, we're just focusing on the last three of those churches in Revelation chapter 3. But of course, just like the devotion on chapter 2, you can do this for both chapter 2 and 3 for all seven churches of Revelation. To Sardis, Jesus says in verse 5, He who overcomes will thus be clothed in white garments, and I will not erase his name from the book of life, and I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Mm. To Philadelphia, Jesus says in chapter 3, verse 12, He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will not go out from it anymore, and I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God in my new name. Amen. And to Laodicea, Jesus says in verse 21, He who overcomes, I will grant to him to sit down with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my Father on his throne. Beautiful. Do you trust that Jesus is who Jesus says he is? And do you trust that Jesus can do that which Jesus says he will do? (laughs) Then don't bail before the blessing. Trust Jesus. Be an overcomer. Be an overcomer. Seize the moment and get to know him and learn for yourself that he is trustworthy and true. Seize the moment.